what's up you're watching Vec and welcome to Dirt 5. Today isn't an episode for Career of Dirt 5, in fact it's something else. As you can see, you can see my hands. But just this past week we finally got an update that has to do with a lot of holiday things which cool we can customize our cars a little bit you know Christmassy, a little bit Yuli you know. But most importantly we got wheel support finally and I'm I've been so looking for this. So what we're gonna be doing it's some uh, a race that we've done already in the past is gonna be one of the throwdowns. I want to test this out on a one-to-one -one race. We're not gonna do online, not just yet. I really want to sit down with this wheel and really get the hang of it because I just imagine this thing going super crazy. It's a lot of fun with the controller. I was thinking of doing a race with the controller first and then with the wheel just for comparison but I think I'm just gonna jump into the wheel. So also keep in mind now that we have wheel support for some reason it's using both the wheel and the controller so have a controller handy because when I just plugged into the wheel I was trying to use it and it wouldn't react so I was thinking like oh no I screwed this over we got no wheel support it doesn't work but it, using the controller and the wheel for some reason at the same time so let's Go into throwdowns. We're gonna go from right here. I think I can use the controller. No, not not yet. So let's go into the alpha. Okay, so from here we should be able to use the wheel just fine to select our car. We're gonna go with the Ford Fiesta R5 Mark II because this is a car that we used the last time. So uh, let's see how this goes. I don't know how this is gonna play out, but let's find out. Let's find out. Hopefully you guys like looking at my hands and the wheel. We don't have a fancy wheel, we just have the G920 with us. So let's get ready! I don't know what to expect. I'm not even sure how hard this is going to be. I like the cockpit view. Alright, we're in automatic it seems. That's fine, that's fine. We can do automatic, we're getting bumped into. No reaction from getting actually bumped into. But oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. Oh, right there. Getting smacked into. Again, no reaction from actually hitting another vehicle. I'd expect for the wheel to actually react. Oh, whoa, okay. Sliding a little bit, sliding a little bit. Got a break, got a break. All right, let's control this. Maybe, let's see if we can go into a little bit of drift. Ooh, drifting is a little smooth. Yeah, I really like this. Okay, let's try to do it again. Oh, yeah. The drifting kind of reminds me a lot of how it is in grid, actually. In fact, uh, the tarmac feel feels a lot like it is in grid so if you guys have played grid this is a lot like it a little bit looser the tires have less grit for sure but it is a rally game a dirt game so you'd expect that so far now we're, we're actually leaving them behind so drift overtake we didn't do that so i'm not really concentrating on doing the challenges oh we're losing some grip right there let's keep going let's keep going don't let them catch up all right Let's see if we can drift a little bit more again. Oh yeah, that feels good. That actually feels really good. Let's try and do that again. Ooh, all right. The, we're already at the last lap. We'll see, can we do this again? Oh, no, no, don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall. Okay, let's go. All right, that was a really easy race. Whoa, one minute and 40 seconds. So that is about... I think I spend more time trying to catch the wheel. So thus far, the, the wheel is super heavy. So we're gonna have to tune down the force feedback in this thing because it feels like I am literally trying to force the car over. Like it, 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 it feels like I'm driving a ton of just like a ton of bricks trying to move it. There's a lot of upper body strength that you're gonna have to develop to use this thing or just tune down the force feedback. I'm really relieved that there's a lot of force feedback because when we when we played PC PC3 Project Cars 3, there was no force feedback, and that's one of the things I just hated with Project Cars 3. But this one, there's an abundance of force feedback, but that's good because we can just turn it down from there. Let's jump into another race from here just to do something different, do a couple races at least, really get some playtime in this thing. The throwdown was super easy. I don't know if I actually did it faster than last time. Um, I'll have to go back and see and just compare for that one. So let's go, let's go to a playground. Let's do a playground. So let's go to discover. Not best for skills because right now I have no skills whatsoever. Let's do, 
Let's see, what's smash attack? Highlight, what's today? Ooh, Christmas Road. You know what? Christmas is approaching. Let's do Christmas Road. Hopefully this is a good one. We're also using the Ford Fiesta for this one, so let's jump into it. I'm not worried about times or anything, and we smack into every wall, so be it. I'm still trying to get used to this thing. Thus far, really good. Really good. So far, but let's 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 do this, see how this goes. Ooh, okay, that's gonna be tricky. Oh, well, I can't see anything. All right, let's go. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? It's still automatic, so at least I don't have to concentrate on shifting. I can just have to concentrate on actually driving. Ooh. All right. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Can't see anything when I'm jumping. Oh. All right, where are we going? This seems very simple. I kind of want to do the Halo view, but I'm not going to do that. Instead... I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna kick I'm gonna stay with cockpit view for now get a nice angles of everything all right nothing nothing crazy thus far with this so straightforward and I think it is being time oh oh push it push it yep all right it is being time so we'll see how we do in comparison to everybody that I'm assuming is using a controller this would be a lot faster with the controller for sure but we'll definitely find out how we do with this one so, 59 seconds, we're already past a minute, so we didn't do 59 seconds. Alright, keep on going. Where's the finish line? There's a finish line. We're looking about smacking into a wall, and we're number 11. We're number 11. Alright, so, if we can get into top 10, 1 minute, 11 seconds, and 6 attempts. Ooh, let's try that again. What if we can get into the top 10 with a wheel? Let's let's try to get into the top 10 with a wheel. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Now that I'm thinking about it, I want to do a comparison with Dirt 4, because Dirt 4 was super arcade-like. And I'm pretty sure this is probably very similar to this. So let's keep pushing. Try to get into the top 10. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Just don't smack into walls or trees. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Ooh. Jumped most of that. Actually slid up a little bit right there too. Now, I'm trying to tell, trying to see where the turns are so I can just keep pushing. All right, keep going, keep going. Don't smack into that wall. These walls, they're kind of blending into each other right here. So, go, keep going. All right, oh, I thought I was gonna have to go straight. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Pushed it over right there. Oh, all right. Go that one, go hard, go hard. All right, let's keep going. Some trees coming up. All right, checkpoint right there. Oh, no, 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 come on. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh, 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 too much, too much, too much. I don't think we're gonna get top 10 that time. But with enough practice, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. All right, go. Go, finish. Finish, come on. Finish good, finish good, finish good. <gasps> Did we do it? Oh, we're nine. We're nine! We just jumped from 11 to nine. So we shaved out almost a whole second off of this. This is awesome. This is so good. So you can be faster with the wheel, but I believe you can be a lot faster with the controller, which is the case with a lot of games, especially arcade games like this. The wheel is a lot of fun, but you're gonna be a lot faster with the controller. But that's not to say that you can't be fast with a wheel. Top 10 already on Mesa Valley, whatever. Xmas Road, whoever made this, good job. It's a lot of fun. It was a good, good way to test this out too. So yeah, I'm gonna get more of this. I want more of that. So we're gonna call the video right there. We're just gonna do those two races. We did the throwdown. I'm not sure just how fast we were compared to the first time, but I'll make, I'll make sure to put the time somewhere around there. Not sure what, what's capturing right there, but the times will be there in comparison just to see just how fast I am or how slow I am compared to the first time. But we did manage to get into the top 10 for this playground and that was just uh, so much fun. I'm gonna keep going with this with, with this wheel. I'll catch you up on the next video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you had much fun with this video as I did making this video and driving this car. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below if you're trying Dirt 5 with your own wheel. Let me know what you're using it with. Are you using a G920 like I am, the newer G923, or is it something fancy like a Husenveld or, um, or a Fanatic wheel? Let me know what you're using, like the video. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other. As always, have a good one.